Hi, and welcome to Note Vault. If you haven't done so already, download the Note Vault app in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. This way you can take notes out on the field while information is still fresh rather than at the end of the day. Note Vault is easy to use, so all you have to do is speak into our app, add a photo, and then you will get a professional PDF report emailed to you the next morning. I'll show you in 10 seconds how to use the app. After logging into the Note Vault Notes app, you will select the project you would like to enter. If you're a new account, the only project you'll see is the default project we created for you, my project. Once logged in, you can either record a note or type a note. I prefer to speak my notes because Note Vault transcribers will convert my voice recording into text for me. People speak 10 times faster than they write, so this is much more efficient and easy. Once you're finished recording, you will have the option to take a photo or choose from an existing photo. You will now see that transcription is pending. The average turnaround time for NoBot transcribers is about 20 minutes. However, you can listen to the audio file at any time by going to the note menu. When you first log into NoteVault, you will be brought to the newsfeed. This will show you all notes posted to all projects by all users, but if you're a new account, there probably won't be much in here. As you can see, here's the note that I made into the NoteVault Notes app. My audio file has already been transcribed. You can listen to the audio file at any time by clicking this play button. In the project menu, you will see something called dashboard. You can go here to see only your own notes made to all projects. If you're a new account, you will see the default project we set up for you called My Project. Upon clicking a project, you will be brought to today's date, but you can easily change the date by hovering over the date and clicking on the left arrow to go back a day and clicking on the right arrow to go forward a day. But you can also change the date by clicking on this calendar icon here. Upon clicking on the calendar, you will see yellow boxes around the days that have notes made in them. If you hover over one of those days, it'll tell you how many notes were made on that day. Now, your project name by default is called My Project. Let's change that really quick. You will go to your project settings and then click on project address. And here, we can change this to ABC Elementary School. We can also upload our company logo so it's at the top of every daily report. You will now see that I've uploaded a logo and the new name of the project is ABC Elementary School. To add a note, you'll go to this plus sign here. Here you can select from adding a note entry, a labor material and equipment entry, or a weather entry. For the purpose of this example, I'm just going to add a simple note. Here you can type your note and add a photo. You can also tag your note to a category. If you don't tag it to a category, it'll just go under the general notes category. You will now see the note that I've created under the RFI category. Here, you will see if I hover over the note, there's a note menu. In this note menu, you can omit the note from the daily report, attach additional photos or files, view the revision history, print the note, tag it to categories or issues, move it to another project or another date, and even delete it. By clicking anywhere inside of the note, you can then edit the note. You will now see that editing mode has activated. When I'm done, I'll hit this checkbox to save the note. Now, I will show you how to add a labor entry. For this example, I'm going to add labor for a subcontractor. The first screen you will be brought to is the copy shift report screen. Here you will be able to copy shift reports from a previous day to the current day, or the date you would like. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to create a new labor entry. After you click on that plus sign, you will go to labor. You will also see some default items we've put in the drop down menu for you. To add to the drop down menu, you would simply click on the blue link above the column. So for my subcontractor, I simply want to track headcount and nothing else. 
So as you see, when I enter the headcount under the workers column, it'll automatically calculate 80 hours based on the eight hour workday. But I can simply delete this column if all I want to do is track headcount. But make sure to enter a short description of work performed before hitting add. You will now see my labor entry right here. You can print the report by hovering over this print report icon and clicking on it. If you would like to email it to report recipients, you can click here or you can just generate the PDF right here. My PDF report has now been generated and I can now send it to whomever I would like to or print it. And here you'll see my daily report with my logo at the top. If you would like to have your report automatically sent to report recipients, you can manage the report recipients in the project users tab of the project menu. You can add users here, invite contributors, and manage your report recipients here. As you can see, I have no report recipients. If I'd like to add a report recipient, I would simply click on add recipient and fill out this information. Report recipients are automatically sent your daily report from the previous day every morning at 9 a.m. However, you can change the time that the report is sent out in the project settings. I will now show you a few other tools we have available for you. By hovering over this magnifying glass, I can access the search feature. In the search feature, I can search by date, or I can search by user, company, category, and issue. I will now show you how to customize your personal settings. To go to your personal settings, go to the menu icon in the top left. We'll start with your user details. Here, you can change your password by simply clicking here, and you would type your password twice, then hit the Save button at the bottom of the screen. You can also upload a signature that will appear on the bottom of every daily report. There are a few other things that you should take the time and fill out in here as well. In Project Preferences, you will be able to manage what notifications you receive on which projects. As you will see, I have a lot of boxes checked. The Auto Report box enables me to receive a daily report every morning. The All Notes box enables me to get a notification every time a note is made into this project. The Keywords box enables me to get a notification every time a certain phrase or word is set into a project. And auto reminders are reminders to make a note if I haven't made a note in the project already. Alert me is another feature that you should ask your account rep about. It's our safety feature. Under your notification settings, you can manage when you get your notifications for each type of notification. I have text and email set for auto reminders, but I can easily change this to just text or just email. You will also see we have the keyword notifications here. If you would like to be alerted about a certain phrase or a certain word that is used on the job site, you would add it here. I'm going to add the word safe because I want to be notified anytime someone uses the word safe in a note. I can also add my shift schedule here so that I'm only notified during work hours. This tutorial is almost over, but I would like to show you one more feature. If you go back to the user settings, you will see this view walkthrough button. If you click this button, you will have the opportunity to walk through a product tutorial. The rest of this video applies to admins only. If you're an account administrator, you will see this connections button. Upon clicking it, you will see the integrations that Notebook offers with other software out there. To customize your account even further, we can start with the project settings. Upon clicking project settings, you will be able to set start and end dates, edit the report settings, edit keyword notifications, and so on. Under the report settings, you will be able to designate what time the automatic daily report goes out. In the report settings tab, you can also explore other settings available to you, such as entry logging, unit of measure, auto weather, and the approval process. Some other settings you can access are keyword notifications, categories, and glossaries. If you notice that names or places are being misspelled during transcription, you can add them to the project glossary so that the transcriptionist won't misspell it in the future. In your account settings, you can change your company information. 
Here you can upload a new logo, change your company address, and even your company name. In your global default settings, you can create preferences that are applied to all projects created after you save them. You can also update all existing projects. We have some default preferences set up for you, but you can customize the preferences to meet your company's needs. Lastly, you probably want to know how to add projects and add users. So if you go back to your account settings, by clicking on account projects, you can manage your existing projects and archive them, add a new project, etc. And under account users, you can create new users and you can also disable users. Our walkthrough has come to an end, but feel free to schedule a complimentary training with a customer success representative.